Hi there guys, hope you're well. This is a video I tried making earlier but talked too much. The waffler's back in town I know. Um, this camera seemingly only allows me to shoot 20 minutes at a time so I'm going to try and condense everything into this video here. The updated theory for myself as to what is causing the Mandela effect, the whys, the hows, etc. If you're new to the Mandela effect, hopefully you'll just need to see this video and it will explain a lot for you. So, the Mandela effect. I have put in many hours of research on this, whether it's reading uh, articles, watching videos, re-watching old clips where these changes have happened um, yeah it's real any naysayers out anyone that thinks it's anything else it's not it's definitely real one thing that I've thought of which I haven't heard anyone else talk about so a lot of these changes that seem to have happened seem to be iconic sections of what I would call classic blockbuster Hollywood films. A lot of the songs that have seemingly changed are from in and around a certain generation, i.e. the Bob Marley Three Little Birds song, you've got the California Dreaming by the Mamas and Papas, again quite a specific sort of era. You've got Queen, We Are The Champions, you've got the Prince songs. Um, so yeah, all kind of classic songs from classic artists uh, or epic artists, epic films, whatever you want to, however you wish to call it. Which made me think, with regard to whatever we believe this to be, there are people out there that believe that it is a religious event, I definitely believe there's religious slash spiritual elements to this. People out there believe it's the sole causing of CERN. I don't know indefinitely. I think they definitely need to have the, our, our eyes glued firmly to them. Um, there's, a, there's a possibility that they are causing it or involved with it. And there are other people that think that it's the D-Wave computers which for those of you that are maybe new to this Mandela effect and don't know what I'm talking about by a D-Wave computer, either check some of my other videos or just Google D-Wave computers. So they're quantum computers. In a nutshell, let's say hypothetically, the computers that we know that you get in your house would take something like 100,000 years to solve a problem. A D-Wave can do that a heck of a lot quicker, let's say a week or something like that. I've just completely plucked those figures out of my head, but just to give you the kind of idea as to what these, the scale of what these can do, it's hypothesized that these D-Wave computers can potentially cause, uh, or not cause, it can be responsible for time travel, um, multiple universes, which is what I personally believe the Mandela effect is. Sorry if I'm sweating, guys. I've had to close my window it is melting in here very hot for the UK um, for some reason hop maybe maybe not summertime who knows summertime in England I don't know um, yeah so I lost my train of thought there uh, so I personally believe that this is a man-made event however I haven't discounted the idea that this event has happened. Maybe, maybe there's demonic spirits running through men to, or man. I'm, I'm not. I don't mean just man as in the sex. Um, through mankind to create this. I find it quite ironic that in the past 100 years, our technology has gone from zero to 100. It's just exploded. Prior to that, we were pretty much. <sighs> smashing each other with uh, sticks and stones and, and bones and what have you. The last 100 years has gone from 0 to 100. What happened in those years, te technological advances, how they came about so quick, 
I don't know, I've heard many theories from alien technology, from demons uh, giving mankind the technology. I'm just stating facts. I, I, I don't know if there's demons, I don't know if there's aliens, but I do know that our technology has advanced, advanced very rapidly. Sorry if I'm talking so quick, I'm trying to make it so that this camera doesn't cut out on me. So, with regard to that, I believe that every which way I've looked at this, this is a man-caused event via some form of technology, whether it's the CERN Large Hydron Collider, or whether it's a D-Wave computer. It could even be a combination of both. However, I definitely do believe that the religious undertones on this are the changes to the Bible. Again, they've been documented in previous videos I've done. Even with all of these epic blockbusters and songs, I've noticed that a lot of the songs that have changed seem to be now past tense. So you've got, life was like a box of chocolates. Um, there's a few other examples. Oh, Houston, we've had a problem. That's how it is now. Or it's actually changed back. Bit of a confusing one, that one. That's getting caught in the matrix, a bit of a glitch. But that did change to Houston, we've had a problem. So again, it's talking about past tense. With regard to the songs, where I was saying they're all from a specific generation, this is something that I thought of a while back, but have only just made the video now. So, let's say if you're in your heyday, when you're maybe, I don't know, in your 20s, your 30s, that's kind of your prime of life. I mean, your whole life is your prime, it just depends on how you want to live it. But what people would typically say, your prime of life. Um, so let's say I'm now a scientist and I want to be convinced that a piece of technology is working. Let's say something that can merge two dimensions or multiple dimensions and someone saying, yes, yes, I can, I can do this, watch. You're not going to say, okay, look, change, let's, let's take the United States of America or England or something off the map altogether because that's too obvious, it's too big. You'd say, okay, we'll change, change Berenstein to Berenstain. It's a very subtle change. It's one letter. Not many people will notice that. If they do notice it, they're going to just be called crazy anyway. Or that they've got a bad memory. Uh, confabulation, I believe the term is. Let's just change that Queen song. Okay, let, let's move it up a notch. Everybody loves the Queen song. Let's see if anyone notices if the ending has changed on there, where it says, of the world. Um, so it, I almost see a lot of the things, they're very subtle changes, so they, it could either be a test to a scientist who would probably be about 60 years old now, and I would say probably from America, when you think of it, most of the effects have happened to, to big blockbuster films that are from America, to a lot of songs, I know Queen is not American, I know Volkswagen made in Germany etc, but overall I would say it would be things that would be specific to an American mind. So imagine I'm an American scientist, I'm about 60 years old. I would be like, oh, Queen, that's my favourite song when I was growing up. Oh, Prince, I loved that when I was growing up. Change this. Um, that's just a theory I've had. I definitely believe that dimensions have merged. People that are saying, no, this is right, no, this is right, you're wrong, you're wrong. What if we are all right? What if there are just several dimensions that have merged. Now I initially was going with two dimensions, however, there's the, the video with the Volkswagen logo where the guy in, I think he's in South Africa, he films it and on his video you can see three different Volkswagen logos. Maybe, we, we're, maybe we're in more merged universes than we even thought. Another thing, how long has this actually gone on for? I believe that this has gone on a lot longer than even when Fiona Broom originally discuss this concept. I personally believe it's gone on a lot longer than that. I think that now though, excuse me, we have the technology, be it the, LA, the Large Hydron Collider, be it the D-Wave computer, I believe that we now have the ingenuity, the technology to maybe see what's going on. But a few things have personally come out of this effect for me. I feel like for me, personally, I do feel that the effect overall is a negative effect in the sense of the changes are very negative. They do have a biblical undertone to them. Luke, I am your father. Okay, so Darth Vader from the dark side. Most people would refer to um, God as 
our Father, like who art in heaven. Uh, again, that's another thing that's changed the Lord's Prayer. Don't get me started on, on that. Um, yeah, and you've got Prince, the symbol. When you look at the symbol, you've got the Volvo logo, which is now the, the logo of war, which is now the masculine logo. So whichever way you look at it. So with the Volvo logo, if you're a marketing executive, okay, I've, I've done sales and marketing type jobs, you're not going to limit half of your audience. You're not only going to sell cars to men. You just wouldn't do that. So by putting the male logo on there, surely some sort of sexism group over the time would have said, look, why are you just selling for men? Um, and when you look at other things, I'm just trying to think of everything off the top of my head. So you've got C-3PO with his now silver leg, which is could be a representation of the golden calf, um, that was worshipped, the false deity. Again, there's many biblical undertones which come from this. The, the Volkswagen logo, it's now got a separation in there. It looks like it could be three Vs. V equaling six in Hebrew, so six, six, six. I feel like everything is just drawing our attention to it. So whether it's someone leaving signs on there, it could just be all by coincidence, which I strongly doubt, because they're quite specific, epic blockbuster films that have been changed specific kind of classic songs that have changed um, could it be someone working in one of these companies that are hoping that someone else deciphers these as codes because the first thing I was thinking that they, there's too much of a coincidence bearing in mind I don't believe in coincidences in all of these changes they're very subtle they'll either change the, the tense they'll be one or two words in a sentence or a phrase that have changed, but just enough to have someone spot it and say there's something wrong about that, which evidently isn't the case overall. It seems to still be the minority that sees this. But overall, I believe it has been a merging of parallel dimensions. It's all I've got to say is strap yourselves in because you're going to see more effects and I think they're going to get bigger as well. I'm just waiting for that really big one. Because imagine this from an economical point of view. The more people that are made aware of this. So you've got the big YouTubers out there with 3 million subscribers and what have you that are talking about it. I see a good side and a bad side to it. But I'll talk about the good side I see of it. The good side I see of it is it's bringing more awareness to a subject that is mind-blowing whether people understand it, whether it makes that one extra person want to research it, whether it makes that one extra person share something that they think has changed. Um, Lazy Boy, this is another one that's just come out. So this was uh, Moneybags. Um, he, he's been doing a lot of this Mandela Effect stuff. This one is hilarious. So frenetically, it doesn't even make sense now. So it's now spelled L-A hyphen Z or Z hyphen boy b-o-y so it's now la z boy doesn't even make frenetic sense i know it as lazy boy because it's a lazy boy chair so that's the whole idea of it i remember looking that up before i remember thinking it was funny because for me it was sort of like the ultimate typical american thing to have is a lazy boy chair so um yeah i i found that one hilarious so, with regard to, sorry, someone just came in the house and threw me off a little bit. Um, yeah, so that's another funny example. But ultimately, going back to what I said a minute ago, I believe the, the two parallel, minimum two parallel universes have merged. I believe it's man-made. I do believe it's either people that are trying to really discredit the Bible or blaspheme I guess if you'd call it that or I don't know it could be Satan working through people it could be demonic entities working through people um, but yeah again another good thing that's just popped into my head that's come from this many people now are going to be more critical whether they're trying to debunk this whether they believe it whether they don't believe it if you just have a memory lapse air quote and you think, oh, I just, um, I thought that this was something else. Prior to that, prior to this, you would have just written it off. You would have just thought, okay, well, it's my memory. 
I'm getting old or my memory's not what it used to be, Google's changed my memory, or whatever you think about it. Now you'd think, oh, hang on, my son told me about the Mandela effect. Maybe it's that. Why don't I look into it, see if someone else sees the same thing? Now I think that people are going to be more awakened, even if people don't believe in this, which, as I say, for me, I've met one person that believes in this. People are going to think more. People are going to question our existence more. People are going to just question in general. Maybe people will think, what if? Um, so that's the goodness I see out of this. We'll see what happens with any more examples that come. Um, who knows, maybe we will find, maybe someone will upload a YouTube video where they've figured out how to, to jump between different dimensions. That would be cool. Um, or literally manipulate dimensions with their thoughts or their energy or whatever, however you do it, I don't know. But um, that's all from me guys, I haven't made a video where I showed my face in it for a while, um, been posting other stuff, I get thanks for getting me to 1000 subscribers guys, that is r ridiculous, I can't believe it, mind blowing stuff, um, yeah, thanks a lot for your time guys, cheers, bye.